on a normal day, I was scrolling through social media because it was too boring and looking for some inspiration, and I found someone who translated Selena's story. Even though I don't really pay attention to her because her character inside the game is kind of useless for me, I decided to read it nonetheless. It's like destiny. Her narrative takes me deeper down to grieve and eventually makes me fall in love with her. Until it makes me think like, if Lucy doesn't exist, then Selina might be the true main character and command and secret lover in Punishing Grey Raven. This video contains spoilers for future content, especially about Selina. If you don't want to get spoiled, please close the video immediately. And finally, be careful not to fall in love with Selina. For those playing on a global server, you might see her already in Chapter 9, but her story doesn't end there. There's more in store for us players and it's pretty interesting. Let's get started. Selina, a Babylonian girl who grew up in a wealthy household and is a lovely, polite, and talented young lady, has a vigor of Ojo Sama esque looks like Mei in Honkai Impact 3. Selina is fond of the old school stuff, thinking it's romantic and elegant, and as well supports her career as a composer and as an artist. One day, as she was bored of her usual life, she came up with an idea and tried sending numerous mails to random people in Babylonia. The only person who answered her mails was us, the commandant. We later became pen pal, using fake names while exchanging letters with each other. We put ourselves as adult figures and advised her in all matters, seeing her grows as time went by. Time pass, years changes. The pen pal routine makes the two grow closer and one can say she develops a feeling towards us. During this period, we as freshmen were still studying in military college and were preparing to be a commandant. Better say, the pen pal chapter happens before chapter 1 of the game event before we meet the Grey Raven team. Because many of the events in the game are ambiguous, Stalina's timeline may appear confusing at first. As a result, we can only utilize that knowledge to make educated guesses but I will do my best to make it as simple as possible. As time went by, the couple planned to meet for the first time. Selena told us that she will be hosting a performance in Sky Garden, also known as the Arena Hall, and attached a ticket in a mail for us to attend and meet after the performance. Unfortunately, busy committing ourselves to our career, we were not able to attend it. Selena's performance tells the ruin caused by the war the cruelty it shaped among humanity and the death it creates. The crowd applauded and cheered on her hard work and spectacular performance. One person amidst the audience stood in silence. Selena noticed the figure. He was a construct tasked for the front line of the war. She asked why. She asked if there was a mistake she made during her performance. The construct in disgust told Selena that her song and the script she wrote were just from an innocent girl who had never experienced the real cruelty of this war. It is a farce from someone who knows nothing of it. After the show ended, Selena went back home. She was dejected so much by the construct's word. Just to experience the real hell, you will understand how to create paradise, and only bloodstained hands can sing the swan song of the world. Selena gets an email from Eden. You have a high compatibility with 10 from Copolimer 1 and 3, and the success rate of structural surgery is considered high. At this point, you might think that Selena decided to become a construct because of that word, and thinking Babylonia isn't the place for her anymore, and to create the best song in art she must get out and see how the true world is. But actually, she wanted to become a construct before that show incident prior she already was looking for motivation, a push for her to join, and those words hit her harder than she expected. A long time passed, Selena contacted us via mail again, but as a new self. Selena invited us to dance. We accepted, but alas, we weren't able to meet her. Selena replied to our mail telling, she was busy and apologized. Why didn't she come to the dance she invited us to? On the dance day, Selena as a Karsak was tasked with mission to investigate the space core located at the space station. Middle survived the spaceform attack 
Selena's team managed to get a fragment of the space form. Determined to bring the sample back to Eden, Selena was ordered to protect the fragment. During the retreat, they made the, with the formidable force of infected that roamed the space station. One by one, the team lost its member to the infected until Selena and a single construct soldier remain. As luck will have it, Selena realized that his the construct soldier was the same person from her performance. The last soldier fails, leaving Selena alone. Unwilling to give in, she continues her mission. As hope about to achieve, she stumbled upon a security machine, Korolev, also known as the Balkun. Selena with the fragment of the space worm was seen as an intruder by Korolev, and the machine began to attack her. Selena, as a support construct, was unable to defend herself against the giant metal. Struggling to survive, her lower body was ripped apart by Korolev. Korolev tore off Selena's arms. Her screams filled the room, but now we're there to hear. Left with only the upper torso, Selena was left hopelessly. Having thought that this would be her final moment, she sent out a distress signal. Selena's prolonged involvement with that space form frag turns her into a compositor. How did she avoid becoming corrupted after being infected? Perhaps her armor or herself is formidable. She becomes a compositor afterward. Koloff regards her as a potential ally and abandons her half dead. Selena's distress call on the other hand was answered and assistance was dispatched. Selena was relieved, but it was Gabriel and Roland who arrived. Roland felt sorry for Selena and wanted to put an end to her pain as soon as possible. But Gabriel was more ruthless than even Korolev and he kept Selena alive and kidnapped her for the experiment. The Grey Raven team was dispatched to the space station in response to the attack in Voice in Darkness, which is the corrupted space station that attacked Grey Raven, resulting in an emergency landing to meet with Rosetta. The Grey Raven crew encountered a problem that the communication system was unusable after reaching the space station. Brilliant's Isla got a distress signal which has a clue that it might be from Selena. Watanabe asked well asked to escort Isla to the space station by Babylonia. On their way, Isla met with Selena. Isla tried to help Selena out, but Selena directed the terminal to show the space station database and Grey Raven situation. So Isla implied that Selena wanted her to help the Grey Raven instead of saving her. However, during the contact with Grey Raven, Gabriel arrived and took Selena with him. Isla did return, tried to follow and stop him, but she failed, and could only see Gabriel with Selena escaping via capsule toward Earth. The Fallen Star event ends. At this point, we may conclude that the day we went to a dance party, which she had asked us to but couldn't see her, was the same day she was demolished till just the top and head remained. As I previously stated, it's sad as fuck. As I previously stated, Gabriel kidnaps Selena to the Ascendant faction, but what did he do with her? Gabriel brings her to an experiment, but when he becomes bored, he throws her into the Red Tide, and she merges with the Siren, erasing her memory altogether. This section goes into greater depth on how Selena's body was ripped apart until only the top and head remained. She was tormented and in pain to the point of death, yet she did not die, and Gabriel informs us that she was waiting for someone to come and help her in fulfillment of her promise. Is it going to be Isla or us? But not yet. The Red Tide experiment is suffering far more than that. If you'll excuse me, I'll try to imagine how Selena feels. This is the level of pain if you get punched. This is the level of pain if you get shot or stabbed but you don't die. This is the level of pain when Selena has only the top and head remain, but she didn't die. This is the level of pain when Selena was dropped into the red tide, but she didn't die. She should have perished, 
but she managed to keep her consciousness and only run her memory or dream sequence in the hopes of meeting someone in the promise of one day we shall meet in the front line. We can suppose that means for Ayla or us because Selena knew that we are a commandant and she expected to meet and protect us on the front line someday. The construct can feel pain like a true human if they get shot or stabbed because there is a function that they can switch on or off their pain receptors. If it's off, they will lose their humanity. Grey Raven and the Strike Hawk unit, also known as Bungie, have been sent to the Red Tide operation to fight Siren. Even though this opponent was so terrible and powerful, the commander said when he first saw Siren, I feel attached to it as if I knew it well, even if I had never met it before. And it was Bungie and the commander who fought Siren. Siren is about to assault the commander, but Bungie intervened just in time to save us. Siren was defeated by Bungie, however, there is someone inside Siren's core who is Selena. After neutralizing Siren, they had to evacuate as soon as possible. As Eden was going to fire that super gun and the commander couldn't do much with her current mental state, he had to leave Selena behind. The red tide subsided as Eden fired a massive beam. So, following the sequence of events, we don't know what happened to Selena, and is she still alive? I had a lot of questions since I wanted to learn more about her story later. She has a habit of writing letters and her cursive handwriting is very pretty. She had a pen pal that she has been writing for a long time, though she has no idea who they are. It generally hurts me inside every time I read this in game since we know who who they are and the secret profile signifies and it's us who abandoned her because we can't save her. If this story has touched you, please accept my sincere apologies for bringing you this tragic story which might ruin your day. It's difficult for me to conclude this video with common phrases used by most creators, such as Hope you enjoy, because it's not enjoyable, but rather tragic. I don't still hope she's alive. Does someone revive her later? To be honest, comrade, I share your sentiments. However, I must conclude this video in the same manner as before. Thank you for watching guys, and see you when you see me. If not yet hopeless, you will not despair. The last sequence in Echo Aria show her looking at the sunset, and her figure is identical to the playable one in the game. Who saves Selena?